Uh, Chief Minister, look at the exuberance that you've generated. Chief Minister, uh, you've given me a wonderful, you've given me two wonderful gifts. First, firstly, you've given me that fantastic shirt, but also you've left your speech on the podium, so I can now give exactly uh, the same, the same speech. They love it. They love it. It, worked, it worked well the first time. And um, we believe in recycling, don't we? So, um, look, thank you so very much for inviting me to, uh, to speak uh, this evening. Thank you all for uh, coming. Thank you for the kind words that you've said about me taking on this new role as uh, Foreign Secretary. Uh, and, and I joke about being able to read from your speech, but there are big sections from this speech that could absolutely have been written by me, for me, uh, and I am comfortable repeating. The sovereignty of uh, the people of Gibraltar has got to be decided by the people of Gibraltar. That is an absolute yeah. foundation. I, I regard myself, and I hope you regard me as a good friend of uh, Gibraltar. I remember, uh, I remember the, my first trip to uh, Gibraltar, and uh, of course, for those of you, for those of you going to Gibraltar the first time, you probably uh, experienced this. I'm a, I was a Londoner by uh, by birth. I grew up in in London, and of course, you go to the Rock, you go to Gibraltar, and your sense of scale gets completely thrown. You talked about the sad death of Her Late Majesty the Queen and the few weeks that uh, have elapsed since that event have felt huge. It's felt like a, an enormous time scale. Um, and of course in Gibraltar you have, you have uh, this uh, strange relationship with geography. Yeah. Uh, not, the, not the geography of Europe, that's, uh, as I say, that is something that is, uh, is, is going to be uh, steadfastly not uh, redrawn, not, certainly not whilst I'm in this job. Um, yeah. 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 The, the sense of distance, as a, as, a, as a Londoner, I was completely thrown by the sense of distance. I remember asking someone from, for directions, I was, I was walking around Gibraltar, I was asked someone for directions and they said, ah, oh, right, okay, what you need to do is you need to go all the way down there, all the way down there, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, all the way down there. Then you turn, turn right. And once you turn right, you keep going right, keep going right, all the way down there, keep going right, keep going right, and then you get to Casemate Square. I was like, oh, great, <laughs> fantastic. So I set off. And in my mind, when someone says, all the way, all the way, all the way, I'm thinking quarter of a mile, half a mile, maybe seven, eight, nine minutes walk, whatever. Suddenly I've got to the, a building, and I'm like, well, I, I can't go all the way, all the way, all, I must turn right. I, I've got to go right, go all the way down there. Five or six steps later, Casemate Square, thanks for <laughs> and, um, and of course, what I realise, what I realise, of course, is the geographic intimacy of Gibraltar is matched by the huge sense of family. And we are family. And that has really, really come across in the last few weeks. That has really come across. Um, and of course, what we need to do, what I need to do, is make sure that we have a good working relationship uh, uh, between, our, between, our, uh, between ourselves uh, across Europe. We want to make sure we can do business, that we can trade, and that the lives of uh, Gibraltarians are made prosperous and are made convenient. That's what we want to do. But ultimately, of course, as I say, we want to do so in a way completely in accordance with that foundation stone principle, a principle as solid as the rock of Gibraltar itself, which is you choose your destiny, your destiny, you do not have it forced upon you by anybody else. And with that spirit at the heart of our negotiations, I have no doubt that we can make good and positive progress, which will be beneficial for the UK, beneficial for Gibraltar, beneficial for Spain and the rest of uh, the European Union. That's what we're working towards. And um, we're working to uh, continue to enhance, strengthen, evolve, mature, uh, uh, all those positive, uh, all those positive attributes that we have in terms of our bilateral relationship. And finally, you mentioned the, um, uh, the Gibraltar Regiment. Of course, I'm a gunner. A number of you will uh, will know that I'm a gunner. I don't have my gunner tie on at the moment. My uh, my my dark blue and red zigzag tie. And I always look, of course, at the regiment. 
uh, with their own zigzag tie, uh, which shares the same heritage as my own regimental tie, and indeed the regiment shares a shared heritage with mine. Gosh, I managed to get that out of one. <laughs> um, and of course, when you visit Gibraltar, and if you haven't, you should, if you have already, do so again, you will of course see the interwoven history absolutely everywhere. It's a wonder to behold. It's a real, real pleasure, and I cannot wait for the excuse that I need, and I'll only need half an excuse, <laughs> to come back <laughs> and visit you again uh, and celebrate what is a, uh, a unique and wonderful relationship. So, Herbin, thank you so very, very much for the shirt. Thank you so very much for your hospitality. Thank you again. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy yourselves. Thank you. <laughs>